hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Unto the Lord be the glory this morning, unto his holy name that we praise today. Our God has been merciful unto us once again, and he has gathered us and brought us back again unto this airway, fleshy media and radio television station. You deserve to be praised, O Lord of Lords and King of Kings. This morning, ladies and gentlemen, we're here to share the word of God with you. The name is Reverend Prince Kojo ACM of Divine Power Ministry, Headquarters, New York, Bronx. Just worship with me and just give your heart unto the Lord as we prepare ourselves for the word of God that will come unto us today. For the Lord has delivered us from the hands of the enemy, rescue us from the net of the wicked, and place our feet upon a rock. A song of praise that he has placed upon our mouth. Yes, he deserved to be praised this morning. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. It is a new morning and the glory of the Lord has been seen upon us and his mercy has rolled over us. Amen. Let us bow down our heads once again and we pray. Jesus. Hallelujah. Le kamara basa toro bosa kataya masiki. Jesus. Hallelujah. The Lord has rescued us from the chain of the enemy and he has placed our feet upon a rock this morning. If we are giving him praise, he deserves our praise. He deserves our glory. He deserves our thanksgiving this morning. Beloved, please bow down your heads with me and let us share a word of prayer. Heavenly Lord, we thank you and we give you glory and all the adoration. Jehovah God, you are God, amazing grace. How sweet is thy sound, you who have made all things possible, all things great. We bless you and we give you glory. We give you all the adoration. We give you all the praise because Jehovah, you have made all things possible. Let only your will be known today. Break the yoke of the enemy. Condemn the smell of the wicked. Arise, O God, deliver your people, that your people shall shout unto your holy name, that Abba Father, hallowed be thy name. Father, anoint me with thy oil. Touch me with thy word. Feed within me with thy blessing, that I may deliver your word unto your people. Through Christ Jesus, our Lord's name, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, this morning Jehovah God have sent me here to deliver unto you. He said, do not, do not stay away from your blessing. That is the word that God has given unto me. He said, do not stay away from your blessing. Do not run away from your blessing. Do not stay away from your blessing. Many times God is calling his people and he is calling us that he may deliver us. He's calling us that we may have life and have it abundantly. 
He's calling us that he may lead us not into temptation. He's calling us that the yoke upon us, he might break it off us. He's calling us that he may deliver us from the nets of the wicked. But more often we stay away from that deliverance. More often we stay away from the blessing. Whilst the Lord is knocking at our door, we have closed that door tight. And we are putting headphones in our ears as how my headphones are on my ears. And then we do not hear and pretend we don't hear the calling of God. This morning God has sent me to tell you. Please do not stay away from your blessing. He is the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, the Father of all fathers, the Master who wants to bless you. He did not call you because He wants to condemn you. He has called you because He wants you to have life and have life abundantly. Jesus is blowing the trumpet because He has seen the struggle that you are going through. He has seen the challenges that you are going through. He has seen the difficulty that you are going through. And he has come to rescue you. He has come to turn that bitter water to be sweet for you. He has come to make that desert become a forest for you. He has come that you may see glory and the light to walk through. He is not calling you to condemn you. But he is calling you to favor you and to bless you. Why do you stay away from that blessing? Some people will say, what is he talking about? Why is he saying that we do not need to stay away from the blessing of the Lord? You ask yourself and you said, I go to church every Sunday. I pay my tithe and my offerings at the church. I do what I'm supposed to do in the church. Do you remember that Pharisee? He told Christ Jesus that he has given everything and he has obeyed everything. And the Lord said, go sell whatever that you have and come follow me because you cannot enter into the kingdom of God unless you are born again he did not even understood what Christ was saying and said unto him I have already gone beer and my beer is sweeping the ground how will I get into the womb of my mother that I may be born again today maybe that is the question you are going through but I came here to tell you about the grace and the power of the Lord Jesus Christ I came here to encourage you about how God is and Jesus Christ is he is a Lord who loves and care he is a Lord who have concern for you and he's saying to you today do not stay away do not run away from the blessing some of us the doors are open but we keep on closing it the Lord wants you to give your heart not yourself unto him not the clothes you wear that you have to rip apart but he wants you to rip the soul within you he wants you to recognize that he is the lord and your savior he wants you to come unto him he wants you to forget about everything that you feel within you that is not right the things that will turn you away from the blessing of God. The things that will turn you away from the grace of God. The things that will turn you away from the favor of God. Sometimes we spend more time in the house of the Lord. And we pray and we accuse witches. That they are the ones doing us. Forgotten about our own self. That what can we do to render the service of the Lord. Or to see the glory of the Lord. What can we do to see the blessing of God. We do not ask this question. But we spend more time and hours and days. Fasting and praying and fighting against witches. That they are doing us. The Bible says the only thing that can separate you from the love of God. Is the sin that we committed. I am not here to pass on judgment unto anyone. For the Lord knows your heart and he knows your mind. But what I am trying to tell you today is. Whatever you feel within you that is wrong. You try to stay away from it. Do not run away from the grace and the blessing of God. Maybe God is telling you that go to your church and sweep the church. God has given you that option that go sweep the church. That is what he is going to use to bless you. You feel it within you. You sense God is speaking unto you. But therefore you have run away and you are not sweeping the church. And you are running praying against witches. That they are the one doing you. Beloved I came to tell you. If you will hear the voice of the Lord and hearken unto it. And obey that voice. And do what God wants you to do. You will see the glory of God. 
There were two people in the Bible today we will talk about. Whilst the Lord was looking for them to bless them, the Bible said they were hiding at the back of a trunk of a tree. They were hiding in a tomb. They were hiding in a bunker. Whilst the Lord is coming unto them, why the Lord is there to bless them and to shine His glory upon them? The Bible says they were hiding, and we ask ourselves why Adam and Eve were hiding. But I tell you today, many of us hide from the glory of the Lord. Many of us run away when the glory of the Lord takes place. When God is knocking at your door to present blessing unto you, to lay the table before you in the presence of your enemies, you still hide yourself from the glory and you spend time praying against the enemy. I tell you today, there is no witch that has power over you. There is no demonic authority that has control of your destiny. If the grace of the Lord is on you, the other day he told them that anyone who shall mark the doorpost with the blood of the Lamb, when the spirit of the evil, the destruction spirit, if that spirit is passing through, that spirit will pass over you. If the blood of the Lord is marked on your forehead, if the presence of the Lord is with you, the witches will see you and they will pass over you. The demonic authorities will see you and walk away. But because you have stayed away from listening and hearing the voice of the Lord, that is the reason why you are afraid of them. That is the reason why, <coughs> excuse me, that is the reason why your life is still standing still. I came in here today to motivate you. I came to encourage you that do not run away from your blessing. Don't stay away from the glory of the Lord, but rather run into the presence of God. If God said give an offering unto his kingdom work, I'm not saying offering that go and bring your offering anywhere, but whatever that God tells you to do, please do it and you will see the glory of the Lord. My Bible teaches me this, uh, that obedience is better than sacrifice. As you obey the voice of the Lord, you will see the handwork of God than you spend it all this time let us open our book into the book of Genesis the book of Genesis the chapter 3 and the verse 8 up to 10 and let's read about these people let's read about them and you will understand where I'm coming from this morning praise the living God uh, let's hear the word of God Amen. Mm -hmm. Genesis mm -hmm. Genesis chapter 3 verse 8 to 10 mm -hmm. he said then they heard the Lord God walking in the garden mm -hmm. this is this was during the cold time of the day they heard the Lord Almighty walking in the garden in the morning they heard him ask me you are hearing the voice of the Lord God is walking in your garden he's walking in your presence God is coming to you you have heard him you have felt the presence of God but what happened again mm -hmm. says, and the man and his wife hid from the Lord the Lord God among the trees in the garden but the Lord God called to them to whilst run. the Lord was looking for them whilst he was already there in their presence he is standing at your door and he's knocking at that door that if you will hear him and you will open he will come in once they heard the door being knocked and he says i am the lord almighty and i'm coming in to deliver you the bible says they were hiding at the back of a tree they were hiding at the back of a tree why but the lord god called to the man the lord said where are you the Lord God called Adam, you and me, man. He called us and he said, hey, where are you? In my hand is your glory. In my hand is the blessing. In my hand is the deliverance. In my hand is the favor you need. Why are you staying away from me? Beloved, I came to tell you today, do not run away from the blessing. Don't stay away from the blessing of God. It is for you. God created you in his own image. And the day that he created you, he blessed you and graced you with the grace of his authority when you read jeremiah the number nine and ten the jeremiah the chapter one number nine and ten i'm not reading it today he said he has placed you upon the nation and given you the authority to root out and break down and build again 
But you are staying away from the glory of the Lord. You are running away from the blessing and blaming witches that they are the one doing you. I came to encourage you. The time that you will spend to pray against witches, why don't you use that time to glorify the Lord? Why don't you use that time to say, Hallowell be thy name, Abba Father. Why don't you say, Jesus, thank you for the day you have given unto me. For when your praises go up, the glory of the Lord will descend upon you. Then the kingdom of God will come down upon you. And the grace and the favor will be reflected in your life. Do not stay away from the blessing. Uh -huh. Verse 10. The man answered, I heard you walking in the garden. I was afraid because I was naked. So I heard. Praise the living God. He told God that God, I heard you are alright. That is what we all say. But I was afraid because I was not perfect. I was naked. I was not right. Nakedness means things that is not right for you to do. You did not obey the voice of the Lord. So instead of the glory of the Lord covers you, instead of that Psalm 91 taking place in your life, hiding under the wings of God, you expose yourself. You become naked. So the grace of God is not being reflected in your life. And the light of God do not show over you. And the glory of the Lord will never be seen upon you. Beloved, I came to tell you, stay under the shelter of the Lord. Do not be naked. Do not stay away from the glory. For He alone is the one that can forgive you your sins. And embrace you. And love you for who you are and what you are. I came to tell you today, there is no authority that has power over you. Jesus Christ didn't come that you may be destroyed, but he came, he is calling you that he may bless you and favor you. He called you that he may put glory into your life. Is somebody hearing the word of God today? Do not spend your time on witches, but assess yourself, beloved, and walk in the path of the Lord. As I said in the beginning, if the Lord told you to sweep the house of the Lord, you continue sweeping. Today we go to church today and the next day we are not going because we say somebody has done something wrong unto me. Beloved, it is not about somebody, but it is about the relationship with you and your God. He said those who shall endure it to the end, he will give them the crown of victory. Do not stay away from your blessing. Endure it to the end. And you will see the glory of the Lord. Go through the hustling and bustling. In the work of God. In the house of God. Deliver. Give yourself unto God. Tell the Lord that have control over me. Take me and use me for what it is. And you will see the power of God. You will see the grace of God. Beloved I tell you today and on and on and on. That he alone is the way. And he alone is the truth. And he alone is life. Jesus Christ has come to bless you. Do not stay away from your blessing. Let us go to John. The chapter 10 and verse 10. And listen to what it is. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. John chapter 10 verse 10. Mm -hmm. It says, A thief comes to steal, to kill, and destroy. Hallelujah. The one who is telling you to stay away from the glory. That spirit that is in you to making you become an arrogant person. To walk away from God's work. For, for, for you to receive the blessing. Your dedication with God. For you to stay away. The one who is bringing anger to you. Remember that one is the thief. He has seen that God came that you may have life. He has seen that God came that you may have power and glory to walk over serpents and they cannot harm you. He has seen that you will drink of the poison and it cannot kill you. They have seen the light of God and they say stay away from it. Beloved, do not listen to the negative aspect but always walk into the glory. He said if you shall endure it to the end, it is not going to be easy. It says because of my namesake some of you will be jailed. Some of you will be killed. Some of you will be what? persecuted and some of you will be criticized but those who shall enjoy it to the end 
I, Jehovah, will give them the crown of victory. Remember the road is very narrow, but the road of destruction is free and is very wide. I came to tell you about Jesus Christ. Run unto him. Ask the Lord that God, what can I do? And what can I do unto thee? My brother David and our, our great king, he said this and I will quote to you. He said, what can I render unto my Lord? I will never give anything that costs me nothing. When he means it, he will give all his life unto God. He will stand for God. It does not matter either his life, either his time, either his money. He will dedicate it to God. And he does believe that when he does that, Jehovah God will favor him. Jehovah God will glorify him and take him out of the mouth of the dragon and release him out of the net of the wicked and prepare the table before him in the presence of his enemies, says the Lord Almighty. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. John 10.10 10. Mm -hmm. But I came to give life Life in its fullness Amen. Praise God God said he came to give life And life in its fullness That means there shall not be shortages There will not be a time That you may be in need The joy of God Surpass everything Do what he wants you to do And you will see that the blessing is at your end Do not spend so long time Praying in your house against what witches and demonic authorities because your God he works in the spirit and he has power over all of them when you serve him and do what is right before him he will bless you I am not here to put judgment upon anybody but I am here to tell you that run unto your God embrace him for what he is leading you unto and you will see the grace of Jehovah God let's go back to Genesis the number three and I will end my sermon today praise the living God praise the living God Jehovah God is King hallelujah mm -hmm. and this is my last one and we will go into prayer today mm. praise God Genesis chapter 3 verse 3 Jesus but God told us mm. you must not eat fruit from the tree that is in the middle of the garden Jesus you must not even touch it Jesus or you will die Amen. praise the living God God said to us I have given you freedom and liberty over everything but be careful do not take the one that is in the middle that will distract you the middle ones are the ones always that pulls us away from the glory the middle one almost to the finish and that voice that will come in and take you away beloved focus your mind on what he said when you focus your mind on it when you touch it when you obey him when you even get close to it to cut it when you eat it when you listen to him he said it will not bring anything but it will kill it will kill you it will kill the desire of god in you it will kill the glory of god in you it will kill the favor of god in you it will kill the mercy of god in you that is why your life is still the same jesus christ is standing at the door and he's knocking at your door and he's calling you to come in he will favor you he will bless you he will shower you with the glory of his authority he did not come that you may be condemned but he came that you may have life and have it abundantly I am ringing this bell unto you Christ Jesus our God is calling you he is calling you today that turn around unto him do not eat the food in the middle that fruit in the middle do not listen to the one who is telling you about somebody have said this about you therefore you will be pulled away from God but listen to the voice of the Lord that is telling you humble yourself before me and my glory shall be seen upon you today I came to tell you turn around and look unto Jehovah and your God will save you he will rescue you from the chain of the enemy there was a woman hallelujah that was going through a very big challenge in the village this woman was called Auntie Essie Auntie Essie gave her life unto God Auntie Essie gave everything that she had unto God. She dedicated her life unto God. But things were not working great for, for Auntie Essie. And Auntie Essie was there crying to say, Where is my God? 
Where is the God that I've served? Where is he? Where is my God? But that time and Tessie was hustling. And Tessie was going through challenges. And Tessie was going through difficulties. And Tessie was going through problems. People came to Antesi just like they told Job that why don't you ignore your God? and go to other side of the world that they may save you i have a man who could tell you your destiny and grant you everything that you need and Tessie said i will wait upon the lord for i will continue to wait upon him patiently when the time of the lord is up he will rescue with me when the day came and Tessie was laying down sick and very ill because she had no food to eat she had no money to go to the hospital at that particular moment the glory of the Lord deliver himself somebody from somewhere came in there and he said I know a woman here who was very dedicated in the church where is that woman and they said the woman is very sick at home that person went in there and took Antesi to the hospital when the person said to Antesi when I came I saw the good thing you were doing for God I saw how dedicated you are that is why I came back for you I have built a house and I put in a store in front of it I have put in everything that you may need to sell in that store I did it for you and Tessie these are the documents of it and these are the keys to the house just go and enjoy if you give your life to God and you stand in and don't listen to the food that is in the middle that you may plug to eat. God will definitely show his glory. In the middle of it, he will show his favor. He said he will come unto you in the time of needs. He will hear you when you call upon him because he is Jehovah God. He is merciful. I came to tell you about him. Do not stay away from your blessing. Don't run away from your glory because Jesus Christ loves you and Jesus Christ care about you. He is a Lord of loss. He is the king of kings and he is the conqueror's lion who came out of the tribe of Judah. He is El Shaddai. He is Yahweh. He is Jehovah Nisi and he is Jehovah Rapha. No one comes unto the Father except through him. You go unto him. He will favor you and he will bless you. Just turn your heart unto God. Run away from the one who is pulling you away. Turn your heart unto God. Do what God is telling you. The offering he said go and give. Do exactly that. The church he said dedicate yourself and clean. Do exactly that. Support the work of God and God will favor you. Love your neighbor as yourself. The people around you. Just show concern to them and the grace of God will be upon you. May the peace of God be with you and the glory of the Lord shine over your life. May God smile towards you. In Christ Jesus our Lord's name. Amen. Please bow down your heads with me. If you are there and you want to take Christ Jesus as your Lord and your personal Savior, if you want to have the strength of God that you may stand to do the work of God, the will of God, that your life will change, that you will not spend time to pray against witches, but you will spend time to glorify God, please bow down your head with me and say this prayer with me in your home. Say, Lord Jesus, I have known you today. I have understand you today that you alone can pave the way for me, O oh God, because you are the pathfinder. Father, strengthen me, strengthen me that I may be able to do what is being expected of you. I may give my life perfectly the way you want me to do, that your glory shall be seen upon me and your grace shall be seen upon me. Beloved, if you have prayed this prayer with me, believe that God have heard you and you are a brand new person. May his glory shine upon you from now and forever may god become your god through christ jesus our lord's name we pray hallelujah he is the king of kings he is the lord of laws he died on the calvary cross hallelujah that the world must be saved the Lord Almighty, He is the King of Kings. Come on, somebody say with me that He is the Lord of Lords. Oh, He died on Calvary Cross. Hallelujah, that the world must be saved.
God bless you and may he may his peace be with you. Once again, this is Reverend Prince Kojo ACM of Divine Power Ministry Headquarters. If you are looking for any of these church branches in Kenya, you could go to Kisumu, Nyamira, and Kisi. Our branches are all over in this state in Kenya. If you come to Ghana, we are in Kaswa, we are in Wa. If you come to New York, we are in Manhattan, and we are in the Bronx. You could look and search for us in Germany, in Europe. We are everywhere that you may call. But if you do not get us, please look for a Bible teaching church. Put yourself into it and do what God wants you to do and you shall be a blessing. May his peace be with you. Bye-bye. Pastor Prince Kojo ACM. Adios.